We're gonna head to the start of the Achilles 5K St. Patrick's Day race. It's nice when the race start is right in your backyard. This is week 14 of the vlog. Sunday was the St. Patrick's Day 5K Achilles run. It's my second year in a row doing it. really love it because it starts at Steam Whistle, which is just about 600 meters from here. And um, you, you start from Steam Whistle, you run across Bremner, you go up Spadina and cross Wellington to the 2.5K mark, and then you basically retrace your steps back to, uh, back to Steam Whistle. One big misconception about 5Ks is a lot of people will say to me, oh, like you're just doing a 5K, like that's really easy. And um, I would completely disagree. It's very different pain from a triathlon or a half Ironman or an Ironman or a marathon, but it is um, painful in its own way because you're running so much harder, um, so much faster right from the gun so whereas in a marathon you might still be feeling relatively comfortable 21k in, um, 100 meters into a 5k you can already feel your, uh, your heart beating out of your chest. So uh, I do love doing, uh, doing 5k's as a good test of fitness because I just um, uh, I find it very difficult to run at that, those same sort of paces outside of race settings. So the race went relatively well for me. I think my time was 17.04, so I was about 10 or 11 seconds slower than last year. I'm not entirely sure why this year was, uh, was slower than last year, because I do feel like it's fitter. The weather, the weather was definitely different. Um, this year it was much, much colder. The race started at 10.30, and I didn't even leave here until a little after 10.20. Um, I, uh, I, I jogged to uh, the race start as, uh, as my warm-up, and overall I would say the race went pretty well. I think I ran pretty even pace through, uh, throughout the race. It's hard to know exactly because with all the skyscrapers around here, it really messes up your GPS. But uh, I felt strong, and in the second half, I was, able to, uh, I was able to pick off some of the people in front of me. So really proud of, uh, really proud of my effort. Really good to just see where, um, where my fitness is at. It would have been nice to run faster than, uh, than I ran at this race last year, but I still do think it's a good indication for, um, for where my fitness is at. So next race coming up is around the bay in uh, in two weeks time, so that is a race I'm looking forward to. I haven't uh, I haven't raced there in uh, in a couple of years, and I think that the big hill with about four k to go or so is uh, is back at uh, at that course. So I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I've had a couple questions about what I think about during a race, and that really depends on just what the race is and how long I'm gonna be out there for. So for example, for the Achilles 5K, a lot of what I was thinking about just had to do with uh, keeping my cadence really high and trying to run with really good form. So I'm not, I wasn't looking at my watch to figure out uh, what my paces were. I wasn't concerned at all about nutrition. I was running very much just based on how I feel and making sure that I keep my cadence high. Because when I get tired, I get lazy and I try and take longer steps and my cadence slows down a lot. That'll be different to what, uh, to what I'm thinking about at, uh, out around the bay in a couple weeks time. So during that race, I'll have to think a lot more about nutrition and making sure that, uh, that I'm getting nutrition in and my pace, especially in the first about 20K of the race. Because if I'm going out too hard, then I'm really gonna suffer in the latter stages. So I wanna make sure that I, uh, that I stick to my pace. And then if I have anything extra left in the final 10K, then I can finish really strong. Thanks a lot for watching this week's video. 
If you like what you see, please click the subscribe button down below. Until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother...